What is going on, you guys? I am doing something different, like a little pack with me. I haven't done much um, on my channel, you know, pertaining to my, I am not naked, <laughs> pertaining to my candle business. So I'm just doing a little chat with me um, while I pack some of my candles. Um, but my very next video that I'm gonna do is going to pertain to these are just my little warning labels to put at the bottom of the candles um, i'm gonna go ahead and do these since i already got them uh partially done but yeah so my next thing that i'm going to do on my channel I want to do like a serious conversation with you guys because I have been, been, I've been active, but I haven't been as active and I've been having a lot going on um, as far as like the move. And I know you guys have heard me mention it a few times, uh, but yeah, like the move and I'm just in like a transitional mode in my life right now. So I just kind of want to talk to you guys about what I learned along the way because I learned some stuff along the way um, as far as just like, you know, different things that I needed to work on with my, within myself. Um, Stay close your door for me. Just things that I need to work on myself. Um, just things that I learned about others while I was in a time of need. Just different things transpired while i was in the process of transitioning and i still don't feel like i'm done transitioning but it's like i'm not the type of person that can do and i used to be just do so many things at one time i have to complete one task and then i can move on to the next um and one of my biggest tags was really my stability and me um me moving um i was in a very uncomfortable position and I now that everything has you know settled down, you know I'm in my place and everything. Now I know why um, why I went through it. So it's like, have you ever heard somebody say, uh, "You gotta go through it to get through it," or "Go through it to get through it"? Or, or whatever. I get it. I get it. But when I was in that moment, you know, it's so hard to think positive when you feel like you're in a negative ass situation well that was me y'all i was moving and it kind of messed up <laughs> i kind of mixed in my candle so you're gonna see me smelling it along the way but I, um yeah i was just in a um this is my spa no, it's not spooky. Okay, you guys, I'm back. Um, I had to sort this shit outside of the camera time because, whoa, it was really irking my nerves. But, um, yeah, so my very next video I'm do, I'm going to do one of my serious videos so I can just talk to y'all, like I said, about what I've been going through, you know, what's been going on, et cetera, et cetera. Give me a sec. Here's to grab my alcohol. Because, yeah, fun facts. Well, not fun facts, but important facts. You have to clean the outside of your jars because if you don't, the sticker won't stick. So that's why I had to grab my alcohol. But, um, what this green is. Alcohol don't get on my stuff. I love the way alcohol smell. I don't know why it's weird. It's like how people love the way gas smell. Cause I do too. Uh, <laughs> it's a uh, it's about equivalent to that for me. But um, what was I saying? Yeah, that I'ma just you know dive into that um. I it's crazy because 
the people that I thought would be there, they weren't there. <laughs> and the people that I didn't think would be there were there. So, yeah, like I said, I learned a lot. <laughs> but again, I was supposed to, you know, learn what I went through. Like I was supposed to go through that. Um, in order for me to see. So, that's what happened. And you know what? I don't regret a doggone thing. Cause it was either gonna happen now or it was gonna happen when I was rich. I'd much rather it happen now. <laughs> Save me the trouble, you know? Save me the doggone trouble. Cause I would hate to be, you know, rich and famous or rich and whatever I'm supposed to be. Cause I know I'm gonna be rich. Let's be clear. Uh, <laughs> I've worked too hard. Um, manifestations at its highest. But, but I said I led to say, um, should be crazy. Like life is crazy. Um, but you just gotta take it with a grain of salt. Learn your lessons. Keep it pushing. Like, what are you dwelling on stuff for? It happened. It was supposed to. You know? And I was actually in Dixon, Tennessee. And it's weird because that's where my family is originally from. Like, literally, my ancestors are from there. So, I kind of felt the way. I was just like, okay. You know, like, just to be on the ground. How is he writing and he's supposed to be on the plane? Uh, my brother, he's writing in the group chat, but y'all haven't even landed. So what's going on? Uh, and I have to get them from the airport. So if you keep seeing me look over, I'm just looking at the time. Um, and y'all, this is my third. I didn't even tell y'all. So this is my first large purchase like i am so grateful they ordered 10 of my candles they wanted two of each cent and y'all i was like what <laughs> i'm so grateful like like what you believe in me that bad like huh so yeah definitely celebrated over the weekend um just with a few friends nothing too major but i'm definitely at that point in my life where i'm literally i'm gonna celebrate every win i don't give a damn if i just got i don't care if i find five dollars on the ground i'm gonna i'm gonna rejoice right then and there like because that's also allowing you to receive as well so just make sure that you're being grateful for everything big small and tall be grateful. Uh, what else? I got some more videos on the way. I actually, I don't know if y'all know who Peach McIntyre is uh, from Facebook, but I just bought her um, Facebook Reels class. It was pre recorded, so I bought it. And, um, I'm going to sit this here because I'm going to have to come back. And, I'm going to uh, talk to you. Well, I might not talk to y'all, but I'm going to organize my closet too. And uh, it's just showing how to learn about uh, content creation from Facebook uh, Reels. So I'm super excited about that. Super excited. Um... Yeah, man, I got some things in the works. Like, I got some things that I really, really, really want to do. Um, and it's so crazy to me because it's not even hair related. And that's what I'm so used to doing. Like, I've honestly been going through, like, when, like through with the transitional phase, like, I want to say it's feeling like kind of like an identity crisis. Like, I was literally speaking with my... Um, I was speaking with my uh therapist and she was just like, well, how do you feel? I was like, 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I feel, but I know I'm not sad. I know I'm not sad. I don't know if I'm just like, cause like I told y'all in the beginning, like I have to work on one. Like if it's something huge, it has to be one thing at a time. Like I can't, you know, just jumble all of these major things at one time. So now that like my house is settled, my car situation is settled. Um, now it's like, okay, career. And then next would be love because I'm going to be honest with y'all. Like love has been on my brain really, 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 really heavy. And I'm praying to God that it's not um, someone from my past trying to manifest me because you're in my past for a reason. Like, let's be clear. Um, I have no, when I say zero desire to be with anyone from my past. I mean, zero, zilch. Because I just feel like, yeah, no, I'm not even going to explain. No, I don't want any of y'all. So if you're watching this, please don't manifest me. <laughs> just take your L in silence. Because one, thanks for showing. Two, thanks for certain losing me was most certainly an L. And I can say that with confidence because I know what I brought to the table. I know what I bring to the table. And that's my whole entire heart. And this goes outside of, you know, career. No, I mean me as a whole. Like my heart, how pure I am. Like, if you lost me, you took a loss, a huge loss. But that's neither here nor there. I ain't even going to dwell on that too much. I said what I said. But anyways... Yeah, love been on my brain real heavy, y'all. And it's crazy because I'm not on that type of time right now because I'm really just trying to, I'm clean, I'm a perfectionist. I gotta clean up my candles. Um, Like, love has been on my brain. Like, I've been listening to music, so child, uh, radio. Like, I've really been on some lover girl shit. And that's crazy because I done been through so much, just even within the past couple of months. And I still do not, I'm not blocking myself from receiving love. Because you know how, like, you have, you go through your little cold-hearted phase. Like, I'm not going to make nobody, blah, blah, blah. I went through that, but it was real mild. Because I'm like, why am I finna deprive myself of what I deserve? I just, didn't, I just didn't bump into the right person. I bumped into people who were teaching me lessons along the way. And that's what life is about. Almost everybody that you run into is supposed to teach you something. They're supposed to teach you something. So, you know, I accepted what worked out, worked out, what didn't, didn't. And that's what it is. Like, I'm not, I'm not bitter about anything, you know, but... I said all that to say, so next up is me focused on my career immediately after that <laughs> immediately after that um i'm most certainly gonna be uh i'm immediately gonna be focused on love like, real deal. So. What's that? Pineapple, a dang coconut. And every time I pack, I make sure to put in something like especially if it's going to be a large order i'm going to always include something whether it's uh, rather it's a pack of i can't even think uh wax melts palo santo or some teacup candles which aren't up here but that's okay but with this order i'm gonna put a palo santo because why not cleanse your space so and it's just me appreciating you know appreciating the fact that you believed in my business as much as me ouch 
so there's a few cards in there and there's another way so that one I have to pack one more mm. I think my brother and him just landed early so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up because he just texted me but yeah, thank y'all for keeping me company. Um, I'm about to be full throttle with this YouTube shit. So y'all just stay tuned. And if you want me to talk about anything in particular, spiritual-wise, life-wise, anything-wise, y'all let me know in the comments, okay? Until next time. Thank you, my babies. Mm.